Dear students, I, Mr. Vishal Vila Shah, Assistant Professor, Krishna Institute of Pharmacy, Karad, welcome you all to this session, UV Visible Spectroscopy. Now, first we will see the learning outcomes. After this session, students will be able to explain different types of transitions that are occurring in the UV spectroscopy. Also, they will be able to identify different transitions that are occurring in different compounds. So, let's begin with UV spectroscopy first. Now, in case of spectroscopy, in last lecture we have seen that the when certain electromagnetic radiations fall on the sample means any molecule or the atom due to this some amount of energy either absorbed or eliminated means due to the absorption of electromagnetic radiation molecules from ground state they will be converted into the excited state and from excited state again they come back to the ground state and while coming to the ground state certain amount of energy is eliminated means in spectroscopy either we are measuring the energy that is absorbed or the energy that is eliminated so here in uv spectroscopy it is concerned with the absorption of UV radiations. That's why it is known as the UV spectroscopy. Means the rays which are falling in the ultraviolet region, they are only utilized in the spectroscopy. That's why it is known as the UV spectroscopy. Now, if you remember in last lecture, we have seen what is the range of ultraviolet radiations. Basically, ultraviolet radiations ranges from 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer. So, if you remember, we have seen electromagnetic spectrum starting from the cosmic rays, gamma rays, X rays. So, after X rays, the, the region which is known as the vacuum UV. So, in UV spectroscopy, the region in a vacuum UV is not considered or we are not able to measure the radiations that are present in the vacuum UV with the help of the normal UV spectro photometer. So, whatever the radiations that are occurring or which are present in the region 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer, this is mainly known as the UV region and the compounds which are absorbing radiations in this range they are analyzed by using uv spectroscopy now as i said region below 200 nanometer is known as the far or vacuum uv now due to the absorption of uv radiations by valence electron molecule undergoes electronic transitions now we know there are three different types of energies that are involved in case of atomic spectroscopy and molecular spectroscopy we have seen so in case of uv spectroscopy whatever three energy levels that are involved electronic vibrational and rotational so in uv spectroscopy due to the absorption of uv radiations only there is transition between the electronic energy will take place also this absorption is characteristic and it depends upon the nature of electrons that are present means once uv radiations fall on the surface of that particular molecule these radiations are absorbed and whatever the absorption of these radiations is there it is characteristic and it depends upon the nature of electrons present now what is the meaning of nature of electrons actually there are three different types of electrons that are present in the molecule depending upon 
which type of bond that is present in the given molecule first type of electron as you know it's a sigma electrons they are present in saturated compounds so for example hydrocarbons like different paraffins now when these compounds are present only the whatever the electrons that are present they are considered as a sigma electrons now as the amount of energy that is required to excite electrons in the single bond that is the sigma bond requires more amount of energy and due to which what happens the compounds that are containing the sigma bonds do not absorb the uv radiations and for that purpose paraffin compounds or the hydrocarbon compounds they are generally utilized as a solvers because if only saturated compounds are there like paraffins they will absorb the radiations in the vacuum uv and due to which they are generally utilized as a solvent in the uv spectroscopy also second type of the electrons is nothing but the pi electrons these are the electrons which are involved in the unsaturated hydrocarbons say for example alkenes alkynes benzene that is the aromatic compounds so as we know if there is a presence of the double bond then out of this double bond one bond is sigma bond and other one is the pi bond so the electrons that are involved in that pi bond they are known as the pi electrons the energy that is required for these types of the pi electrons is less as compared to the sigma electrons so that's why the whatever the compounds if they are unsaturated they definitely absorb the uv radiations then third type of the electron that is involved in the uv spectroscopy is n electrons now these are the electrons which are not involved in any bonding between the atoms in the molecule examples are organic compounds which are consisting of nitrogen oxygen sulfur halogens these n electrons are nothing but the lone pair of electron so those molecules which are having atoms like sulfur oxygen nitrogen halogen they possess a n electrons very little amount of energy is required to carry out the excitation of the electrons that is the n electrons so if we compare the energy that is required for excitation sigma electrons requires more energy pi electrons requires less energy and n electrons further requires less energy as compared to the pi electrons so this is about the introductory part of uv spectroscopy then next point that we are going to discuss is transition in uv spectroscopy now before that here we are going to discuss what are the different energy levels that are involved in the molecule now already we have seen the which are the different types of the electrons that are present in the given molecule sigma pi n out of that sigma and pi electrons are considered as a bonding electrons or means they are involved in the bonding while n electrons are not involved in the any type of the bonding now here as you see this figure here this is your energy on this particular y axis and these are the different discrete levels that are present in the given molecule as compared to the energy now here you can say this is your sigma sigma electrons then pi electrons then n electrons now what happens the when the whatever the molecule that is present at the ground state say for example sigma so whatever the ground states are there these ground states are also divided into small discrete levels so when the a compound or the molecule which is having the sigma electrons when it absorbs the energy it will go it will go to the excited state that is the sigma star which is known as the antibonding so whatever the different energy levels that are involved 
the ground state energy levels in involves pi bonding sigma bonding and n non bonding energy levels while excited state involves pi star anti bonding and the sigma star anti bonding so these are the various energy levels that are present in the molecule also you remember that here in case of pi star anti bonding only not one level is present this main level is also divided into those small small discrete levels each energy level is divided into the small discrete levels further now which are the different electronic transitions now what is the meaning of electronic transitions when as i said in case of molecule when the uv radiation falls on that particular molecule from that energy from uv radiation is absorbed by the molecule because we know the principle of energy or the law of conservation of energy energy cannot be created cannot be destroyed it's only converted from one form to the other form so uv radiations they are nothing but the energy so from uv radiation when they fall on the molecule energy is transferred from uv radiation to the molecules so due to which what happens from ground state they will go to the excited state and as it depends upon the type of electrons are involved so due to the type of electrons that are involved there are four different types of electronic transitions that are involved in the uv spectroscopy first type of electronic transitions is n to pi star means here n that is the non bonding electrons when absorb the radiation uv radiations or the energy from the uv radiation from n discrete level this is the n level they go to the pi star energy level this is the excited state energy level so this is known as the first electronic transition that is the n to pi star already we have seen these are the different discrete levels in previous figure that is the this is sigma this is pi this is n discrete level this is pi star discrete level this is sigma star these two levels are known as bonding levels this is non bonding and these are the anti bonding levels so second type of the electronic transition that is involved is sigma to sigma star means the sigma electrons when absorb the uv radiations or the energy from sigma level the sigma bonding level they go to the sigma star anti bonding level so this is known as the excited state for the sigma electrons further the third type of the electronic transition is n to pi star n to pi star means what here whatever the electrons that are present in the n discrete level they when absorb the energy they will go to the sigma star here means the n non bonding electrons either they will shift towards the pi or they will shift towards the sigma anti bonding levels and the last type of of electronic transition that is involved in the molecule is pi to pi star means these are the four different electronic transitions that are occurring in the given molecule when they absorb the uv radiation and which type of electronic transition that is occurring it depends upon the energy of uv radiation as well as the compounds that are consisting of these different types of the electronic transition for example now if a saturated compounds are there they will show only this sigma to sigma star electronic transition because in saturated compounds we don't have any electrons as well as the pi electrons we have seen the whatever the these different types of the electrons are there they are present in the which compound so these are the four different electronic transitions that are occurring in the given molecule so in next lecture in detail we will see the 
what are the different these electronic transitions